uh, um, uh, excuse me, um, excuse me, oh, yeah, hi, um, is this seat taken? I, I can, okay, thank you. Mm. Oh, oh, um, no, uh, it's nothing. It's just, you must be really digging into those keyboards today, huh? What are you working on right now? Oh, um, I, I'm sorry if I'm being too nosy. It's just, you must be really engaged with what you're doing. And by the looks of it, this must be some pretty important stuff, huh? So, would you mind if I take a quick peek? Thank you. Wait, are you... Are you writing a novel? That's pretty impressive, my dude. Oh, oh, it's not a novel. Well, it looks like one, but... Okay, you know, I'll stop talking. I'll let you explain what this is. Mm hmm Script. Okay. Project. Okay. Oh. So that makes you a script writer? <laughs> That's really cool. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Call me crazy, but I never met a script writer before. I'm pretty sure writers are everywhere, but they're either at you know, at a coffee shop or at home to be alone, so you can focus more. They're also pretty secretive about these kind of stuff. So just you being out here writing, not being bothered if people would see it, just to criticize it. I'll give you credit for doing it out here in the open, you know. Yeah, some people are not comfy with what they are doing until they see their work become a success, you know. We all have to start somewhere, so we just keep working until we catch that big break, right? Uh, me? Oh, wait, what about me? Oh, right. Well, since you're not ashamed with what you're doing, I suppose it's only fair I share to you what I do as well. Well, other than just streaming and just chatting with people online, I'm actually a budding voice actor. I'm still getting used to it, but I have done some projects here and there. What am I mostly known for? Um, it's no big deal. It's just additional voice acting projects. Reading some books here and there to translate it as audio and sometimes just talking. So maybe you and I can work together, hmm? Someday? I mean, with your writing and my voice acting? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Offers on the table. If you want your work to be done as an audio... Definitely call me up on my sock med. S uh, speaking of, here, let me show you my username so you can find me for, you know, inquiries. Mm. Here you go. And uh, what's your name again? Oh, that's your username. Okay, let me just save that. Make sure the spelling is correct. And I have a cool username just for you. Parks. Because we met today at the park. <laughs> what? You don't like it? <laughs> well, I don't know. You gotta get used to it now. You know, looking at your name now, I feel like I heard your name before. Not that it's a common name or anything, but I definitely heard of it before. Hmm. Ah, well, maybe it'll come to me and I'll remember it. Sorry, can I just, <laughs> just want to observe how, um, you know, a script writer do it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry if I bother you from your typing, but do you mind if we talk for a while? I'm waiting for my friend to come pick me up. Uh, he told me to meet me here and by the looks of it. Looks like I arrived very, very early. I could just be on my phone while you continue with your typing, but since we already made a connection, let's not make it awkward. Um, he'll be here in just, like, I don't know, five to ten minutes. Then you can resume your writing. Is that okay? 
you don't mind it at all. <laughs> Thank you for taking time, you know, to stick around to listen to me, be to, uh, you know, before I go. I hope this is not cutting for your typing time. See, you needed a break anyway. How long have you been typing here anyway? Your laptop has some serious battery life going on there. Yeah, just put it on sleep for a while and, you know, keep me occupied, will you? I'll be out of your hair before you know it. I promise. Okay. So, aside from writing, what do you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a pretty busy person. Also, why are you typing at the park? I mean... Thank goodness for the tents to block out the sun here at the table, but are you really busy that you have to bring your work outdoors when you could just do it at home? All right, fresh air, right. right. You got cooped up at your place that you have to go outside? You do realize that the purpose of going outside is to take a break from all this office computer work, right? Deadlines, right. You're chasing a deadline. Are you one of those that procrastinate and doing the job at the last day before a deadline it's still far away then why are you doing this now oh okay that is a reasonable excuse i guess sometimes whenever i get ideas in my head as well i would write it down you know with my phone rather than my laptop <laughs> oh, oh no 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 i'm not judging you at all you do you Nothing was wrong with that. What am I doing here anyways? I just told you. My friends are going to pick me up here to go to the mall for our weekly hangouts. You know, all that boring stuff. You, however, is a different story. Bringing your laptop outside instead of just relaxing is pretty bizarre. Not saying you shouldn't. It's just bizarre. Why don't you just call up your friends and hang out with you at the park just to get all of this away from your head now? You don't have that much friends that lives close to you. And your best friend has plans today and they didn't invite you. Well, I can be your friend if you want. You can come with us at the mall to just forget all that typing stuff for today. Just have a great time. Who knows? Maybe getting to know my friends is what you need to have a group of people with you to hang out with. They're not bad influences or bullies, but they are weird, which is good enough for me. <laughs> Oh, you're busy. I don't want to jump into conclusions, but I feel like you chose to be alone. I'm sorry if that came out harsh, but I'm reaching out to give you a chance to try to make your day a little, you know, better. Would you rather stay here and continue typing with a great day like this? Come on. I know I said this is just five minutes, but I like you. This is an opportunity for you to get to know me and my friends even more. You can tell us what you do, what you like, just like what you told me today. Socialize for a bit, who knows? You may even enjoy the company if it's just for today. <sighs> you really are glued with work today, huh? Okay, how about this? I will call you next week to hang out with us. We'll meet here at the park at the same spot. So hopefully you won't be busy with work on that day. Also, don't even think of saying no. You're not going to leave your new friend hanging, right? Hey, 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 look at me. I know you have your own insecurities, and that's okay. We all have our own issues, but don't let those thoughts get the best of you. Look, I see you as a good person, so I hope you get the chance to prove it to me. And that chance is now, so please, just give it a chance. Who knows what you might be missing out. Hey, then it's a date. I mean, I mean, hang out. I mean, you know, um, <laughs> two people getting to know each other. Yeah. Shake hands. Yes. <gasps> oh, here comes my ride. Is that? Hey, 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 over here. I'm here. <laughs> um, hey, love. <laughs> I thought my best friend would come pick me up, but it's so nice to see you to join us today. 
Oh, love, 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 love. Um, this is my new friend I met today. Call her, you know, Miss Nomad Rider because she went outside today to just. Uh, hey, why are you two looking at each other like that? What? No, no way. You're telling me that your best friend is my girlfriend. I know I heard your name somewhere. And it came from... Oh, my God, it came from you. <laughs> Pretty small world, huh? That's perfect. You should definitely come with us today. Come on, at least you have someone you know to hang out with us. H hey, where are you going? Heading back home? Well, um, okay then. See you around. Stay safe as well. Oh, by the way, the offer's still at the table if you're interested. It's actually okay. Bye. What was that about? No, nothing. I'm just connecting with new people. Why didn't you tell me about her? She seems to be a nice girl to be with. So mysterious and yet so intriguing. Uh, anyways, let's go to the mall, love. Her friends are waiting for us. Hey there, Miss Ryder. <laughs> you made it here at the park before I did. I never thought you'd be an early riser, but it's all good. Because I never have to wait here while I spam you with messages about like, where are you, or you're late, or even worse, getting stood up on our first planned hangout together. But now that you're here, let's not waste any time, shall we? I want to make this day count to the both of us. Who knows when we'll ever get a day this beautiful ever again. <laughs> I look good? Where did that come from? <laughs> Thank you. This is just nothing. I grab the first pair of clothes I like to wear and that's it. You on the other hand, you don't look so bad yourself. It feels like I'm going on a romantic date all of a sudden. <sighs> just kidding. I'm going to have so much fun just teasing you. It's like you've never been with a boy before. You've been on a date with a guy before, right? You're an introvert? Someone that looks like you and is passionate about writing is an introvert? I find that hard to believe. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. You're not going to make this day awkward. I'll slowly nudge you out of your comfort zone. Just... Let loose for a bit and enjoy the day. Besides, I don't do this to anyone I met on the first week. Plus, I heard your name before from my girlfriend, who turns out to be your best friend before we got together. She told me some interesting stories about you, so this is a perfect day to see if those stories are true. Ah, uh, just relax, will you? She said isn't something to be ashamed about. It's nothing embarrassing or anything that makes you a weirdo. I don't judge people by their flaws and mistakes. Now, come on. As lovely as the park is, staying here all day is not the plan. The mall is calling for us, so come on, let's go. Here we are. The city mall. Looks like the place just opened as well, so there's not much people yet. What are we doing here exactly? Well, we could just walk around, window shopping, go get something to eat. I might buy something that I like. Mostly just hang out and talk. Hmm. When I come here on the weekends, I'm here either with my friends or myself to just walk around aimlessly. You know, just to get my head straight away from work. Projects, responsibilities, and all that, blah, blah, blah. It's always good to separate yourself from everything from time to time. So that my family, friends, or my colleagues won't drive me insane. Mm, no, I won't buy a lot of things today. Just make you carry them like a servant. Even if I did, are you going to let me carry all of the heavy things on my own? Or you just stare watching me struggle? 
<laughs> You're so easy to tease. I'm planning on buying some items today for my work. Not too many items so I can carry it myself. Also, this is a good time for you to buy something for yourself as well as to help you as a writer, right? Maybe some notepads or sticky notes so you don't forget any ideas or phrases that you just thought of. And, and you know, you need to write it on something, but you're away from your computer. Some books to find inspiration in what you want to write. Some new material or just read books because you like it. And after we're done shopping, we can go to the food court to grab something to eat. Maybe hang out somewhere you would like to go. Hmm, did I just take you here so we can go shopping? Hmm, well, before I met you, I was planning to buy materials for work on my own on this day. Since we met and got along at the park, I decided to tag you along with me. I want to get to know you while I do my errands on the same day. Your best friend slash my girlfriend doesn't talk about you that much, and even when she does, it just fascinates me about you just from the story she told me. I've always wanted to meet you, but she kept saying the same excuse. She's busy. She has no time to socialize. I tried to get her out of the house, but she said no. Meanwhile, it took me one opportunity to get you out of your computer. You made it here with me. I was lucky you weren't busy right now. I'm sure that's the reason why you were at the park so early and not because a guy invited you to join him for the whole day. <laughs> that face you make every time I tease you. Aww, come on, let's get going so we can have a lot of free time for the rest of the day. Ah, okay, was that everything you needed? Ugh, for the last time, you don't have to carry my things. I can handle it on my own. I'm strong. Urgh. Let's go to the car and put our purchases there and then come back here to get something to eat. Hmm? What did I buy exactly? Well, hmm, I got myself a new binaural microphone for my voice acting job. It has new features where you can pick up any audio clearly. You can... Create this immersive 3D audio. <laughs> I know it looks weird for a microphone, especially with like the ears on each side. It's crazy, but whenever the gig requires whispering, I now have the right microphone for it. I can't wait to mess around with the settings and see what the other tricks I can do with this mic. Hmm. What else? What else? Uh oh, oh, the rest is just some extra materials for the job. Some soothing tea so I don't lose my voice when I needed it before and after a recording session. And some old DVDs to practice accent, you know. Speaking mannerisms, you know, how this goes. Hmm, what about you? Looks like you did buy some sticky notes. Trust me, you will not regret it. Although those books that you brought are quite interesting. I can understand the fantasy books that you bought, but romantic novels? You're not exactly, Miss Damsel in Distress. Given you're an introvert, are you saving those pickup lines when, you know, some guy pick you up, hmm? <laughs> hey, I'm not judging or teasing. It's pretty bold of you, so you can get used when, like, a guy courts you on, like, on a novel rather than the internet. Whoever this lucky guy was trying to seduce you, hopefully you don't break their heart afterwards. I know you're using them as material for your script, but come on. With a novel like that, it tells me you want to be in a relationship. Still lacking some communication skill when it comes to guys. You buy those novels to study and understand how a man behaves, but not everything you read is accurate. Besides, you've been great so far. You're making eye contact. You stutter less with your words when you talk. Hey, you're not acting weird when it gets awkward for a little bit. You actually listen when I talk to you, right? <laughs> then you would always ask me for details like you're so engaged with the topic that I'm talking about. Trust me when I say this. When you're finally in a relationship with someone listening to them talk while 
giving all your attention to them means a lot more to your significant partner than you realize. I'm not kidding. Like flowers, gifts, letters, moonlight are great. But if you're not a great listener, then person who has had interest in you will lose it. Because it will come out as you don't care. You're not paying attention or you're bored, which is not the impression that you want to project to anyone, especially on a date. Do I think you're a good person? <laughs> no, I know you're a great person. I understand you still have all your insecurities and flaws, but that's what makes us unique. This may be our second time meeting together in person, but I feel like I've known you for quite a while. <laughs> also, which, you know, to quote from one and know other more day. about you. <clears throat> Love is like fire. It starts with a spark, then it needs fuel. As it grows, we get nervous because we don't want it to burn out or get burned too fast. We get scared, nervous, worried that one wrong move and the fire fades, so we take our time. <laughs> the fire dances. It's unpredictable. It moves whichever direction it goes. We follow where the fire is because of how bright it is and how it stands out from everything else. Do not get close to it immediately. Fire creates smoke. It can blind us, suffocate us, and it may hurt in the long run. Which is why we stay careful when getting close to the fire. But once we find that one fire in a world full of darkness, once we learn from it, manifest it, grow with it, embrace it, it gives us this everlasting light that never goes away with a single touch it sets our body on fire it's intense powerful unique experience which leads to craving for more it can be dangerous we may get burned but payoff is worth it <sighs> such a great quote if you ask me i memorize it the same day as well what? Why did you stop walking? What's with that look all of a sudden? I sound familiar. I must have a pretty common voice if that's what you're insinuating. Where did I read that from? It's a great quote anyway, so does it matter? Okay, okay, I'll humor you. I read it from a script from a scriptwriter like you. You. You've heard of that quote. And that voice before. From where? <laughs> Why are you taking your phone out? You want to show me something? Is that me? What? No, no, that's not me. I already told you what my username is, and that's not me. Am I... A what? An ASM artist? Uh... <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I told you I'm a dubbing voice actor. That, that is definitely not me. Why did I buy the binaural microphone then? I already told you. It's for 3D audio. That, that is not me. Also, why would you assume that's me? And I could have read that from somewhere. When did I read it? Last week. Why? Because you what? No, no way. This was the script that you were working on last week? Wait a minute. Is this... Is this your username? Your pen name and username online is different. Oh my god. You're an ASMR script writer? 
and you're the one who's been writing these scripts requests on Reddit. How did I know about that site on Reddit? Ah, uh, because it's just... You see... <sighs> okay, you caught me. I am an ASM artist. And I have an ASMR YouTube channel. It's kind of my secret hobby. Also, looking at your pen name now, you've been pledging to my Patreon for a while now. So, I just want to say thank you for the support. It really does help the channel, which is why I got the money to buy a new microphone. Look, this is my first time getting recognized by a fan of my work. Heck, I don't even use my real face as a profile pic. Why not use my face? Look, I know the community can be the most wholesome community on the internet. Because it's a safe space for everyone who just needed to be loved and appreciated. While helping others just get rid of their anxiety, depression, self-doubt, stress, to feel like they're truly special well there are some that showed themselves in the videos um well not every ace of Martis is you know as good looking as them and not everyone needs a fancy camera to make an audio besides having artwork as your persona is so much better it makes us look good on drawing rather than you know our own faces <laughs> you think i'm handsome you're just saying that because I'm explaining all of this to you. Uh, thank you. Wow, you really are a scriptwriter with compliments like that. <laughs> but seriously, you cannot tell anyone I'm an ASMR artist or my channel. I haven't told my girlfriend about this either because she can be a bit overprotective at times, so... I just tell her I'm a voice actor narrator. If she finds out that I do this as a hobby with a fan base that is like simping towards me, she would be so jealous. Who else knows this? Well, now you know I do this, which is what matters. We should... What? Make a collaboration? Like a partnership? I don't know about that. Um, I have my own creative ideas. Then I also need to read and consider, you know, other suggestions as well. Then again, the ones you've been writing have been so impressive. Hmm, great storytelling and it's different. Yeah, you're right. I should give it a chance to see where it goes, right? Besides, I invited you to come shopping with me today, so it's only fair for me to say yes to your invitation as well so when's the date i'm available on thursday also um my place or yours then it's settled thursday at your place okay i've never done a collaboration with a scriptwriter before much less meet one in real life who turns out to be a fan of my work for a long time ah oh, this is Jeez, this is nerve-wracking, but it's the same time, it's, <laughs> it's exciting. Also, don't expect to get paid. <laughs> You're the one that offered this to me, after all. But seriously, I'm looking forward to this now. Agree. Let's go to the food court now, then put our bags in the car. I'm so hungry. We've been walking for a while as well. Oh, oh! Uh, uh, hi, love. I I didn't know you'd be at the mall today. You were looking for me? For what? I told you I was meeting with someone today. Oh, I didn't say it'd be your best friend because I knew you'd tag along just to cut her off when she wants to say something at her own pace. Also, I wanted to spend some time with her alone. I wanted to get to know her without anyone else telling what she likes. I wanted to hear it for herself. You want to join us for today? 
I guess that's okay. What do you say, Miss Ryder? You, you need to go back home? I mean, we haven't had lunch yet. Sorry, sorry, a little bit. I gotta go. Wait, you, you don't want to be a th third wheel? Hey, come back. That's not the case. Look, at least stay with us for lunch. Then you can go, okay? It's unwise to leave the mall of all places hungry when you can eat anything you want here. You'll just order takeouts? But. <sighs> okay, then. Uh, love, hang on. I mean, just say goodbye to her. Sorry about that. I will guess I'll see you on Thursday then. Oh, by the way, remember what I said about you. You're more than enough for me. So you don't have to change to impress me or be embarrassed about yourself, okay? <laughs> I'll see you around, my scriptwriter. <laughs> Take care. Safe travels. What was that about? I wanted to get to know her without you being here to paint an identity to her, like, every time. That was my chance to get to know her by myself, and you just showed out out of nowhere. You were concerned? I can handle myself, love. Plus, she's your best friend. You, of all people, should know that. She's not going to try anything funny on me. And now you scared her off. I did say I was going to the food court, but I think I just lost my appetite. I'm sorry. Let's go. Hey, there you are. Great to see you in person again. I know we've been video calling online, but meeting in person is so, so much better. Thank you for agreeing to meet me on such a short notice. I know we agreed that we should meet every Thursday in person to discuss our script collaboration for my channel, but I've just been very busy. You know, just all over the place with work, family, privacy, and other things, so I'm truly sorry if our schedule has been so inconsistent. If I wish I can do this full time, I would, but I want this to stay as a hobby for myself, not as a chore so that I can have fun with performing the stories, but at the same time, I don't want to be burnt out or be at the point where I don't want to do this anymore. You understand that, right? Well, thank you so much for your patience and understanding that I have a life outside of just ASMR audios. I know, I know. I should have said something in advance when I'll be busy on Thursdays rather than leave you hanging, but hey, at least we're here now together. So come on, let's see what you got for me. Ah, mm. huh, yes, some water please. Also, any snacks will do. I'm not that picky with food. Let me just get my notes ready. Thank you so much. You sure know how to treat your guests right, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. So last time we talked on video chat, we worked on a list of roleplay audios that we should write about. So here's what we have agreed on so far. Uh, we have a Yanri story, a Sunjay story, a modern butler series because apparently there's not enough of those online fantasy like dungeons and dragons style series which i'm not really knowledgeable about and um sorry i can't i can't read it I, my handwriting is very bad the an android robot boy story which i don't mind however i need to find the setting in my mixer you know to make my voice sound robotic and finally a good old prince story that type of story is still popular in the roleplay community because there's barely any princes left today. Even if they exist, not everyone is lucky to be in a romantic relationship with one. 
Much less actually no one. Oh, you have done a story with each of them already? That, that was fast. Oh, the plot and sequence of the story done, but not the script as of yet. Still, still, that's really impressive. I'm sorry, what? We worked on this list two weeks ago? Really, it's been two weeks. It's been such a long time. Huh. No wonder you already did all of them faster than I thought you did. Well, may you see them, please? To see if there is any adjustments needed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been meaning to ask. As a girl who doesn't socialize that much with other people, let alone talk to a boy, remind me again how are you writing these scripts from a male perspective when you're, you know, a girl? Oh, right. You have your knowledge from novels, movies, and other ASMR videos, right? <laughs> I'm just wondering because these dialogues are very descriptive. Hey, hey, I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm aware that there are male writers writing scripts for female characters. It's just, what I'm trying to say is that this is very well thought out and impressive in my standards. I know some script writers out there that wanted to get to the point of the story, which is what makes them popular to the readers and to the artist that wants to perform it. Because people want that instant happy ending, which I do not blame. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not saying these are bad or it has too much words. I really like it because it's different. And I'm not saying that to make you feel better. This is just a different pace from what I'm used to. And so far, some of your scripts that has been used online has gotten good comments. Not just complimenting the performance of the voice actors, but the plot of the story as well. So please, don't doubt yourself, okay? Your work when you think it's not good enough... I know there are voice actors out there who are willing to work with someone like you. And I'm lucky that I get to work with someone who is talented and dedicated like you in person. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, look at me. Come on, look at me. I know you told me that even when you put scripts online, no one is using it. You keep writing because you want your message and your story to spread out to as many eyes and ears as possible. That right there is perseverance, which I really admire about you. Just promise me that when the time comes our collaboration is peaked and come to its end, please, you will still keep writing to everyone, for everyone, okay? The ASMR community needs more people like you. They just don't realize it yet. Of course, I only know what to say. I'm not just a voice actor. I also write scripts for my audios after all. <laughs> oh, there. There's the smile that I love to see. I take it that you're feeling better now? Come here. You look like you could use a hug. There. There we go. You can do this, okay? Don't pressure yourself too much. Just keep working when you have the time and one person will acknowledge how great of a writer you are. All it takes is one person. Now that you're in better spirits, let's take a look at these scripts, shall we? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Yandri's story is not bad. Very aggressive, though. Sundere's story. I feel like I've done this type of story before, so we have to change that a bit. <laughs> Shut up. I know I've done so many Bakugo voices. You, you extra. Okay. Butler series is interesting. I always see a butler fall in love to their master, but... I haven't seen any audio of them as an official couple. Hmm. I guess those are the hubby roleplays, technically. 
the robot boy I'm eager to try out once I found the setting and filters to make my voice a bit robotic. <laughs> Finally, the prince story. Let's give this summary a look-see, shall we? <clears throat> the prince... <clears throat> yes. The story of the runaway prince. The prince runs away from his kingdom because of his parents. The king and queen forced her to marry a princess that does not seek for his love, but for control of the kingdom as next of kin. He refused to agree to these terms, and when his parents did not comply with his request, he took matters in his own hands and runs away. He looks for shelters to stay in for the night. Lucky for him, a young villager aided him, kept his company, protected his identity from the kingdom, and supported him adjusting in the new life. He must partake. Later on, the former prince and villager became friends. But when they realized that each of them has feelings for each other as a secret, will they be able to confess their love before it's too late? Okay, that's a bit heavy, but it's not bad. I see where this is going, and I'm invested. Good job with the summary, by the way. I just feel bad for the prince, however. Forced to be with someone because it's a responsibility rather than love. <sighs> love. I'm... I'm fine. This, the script is fine, it's just... <laughs> Just, love is such a powerful word. It makes us do crazy things just to get it. Love, um, love makes our world go around, right? Yes, there's money, but it's mostly love. <laughs> For all of us, everything we do, we do it in the name of love. Love for our family, love for our community. Love for video games and anime. Even love for ourselves. But love for someone. That is unconditional love right there. Um, we, we, we go out of our way to do things that is outside of our comfort zone. We change our image so that people will recognize us. We push through the hardships and challenges just to make other people happy. Because all you ever wanted is to be happy. To be recognized, you know, to be, to be loved. That's all we ever wanted, is to be loved. That's all I ever wanted once again. What? what? Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> you heard that. Okay, of course you did. Oh, I'm sure my girlfriend is lucky to have me. I, I wish I can say the same about us. All right, all right, look. The reason why I haven't been so consistent about our schedule meeting together is because... Because my girlfriend and I have been f fighting for a while. <laughs> it has taken an emotional toll on me, which affects me on my work and everything else. I have no idea how this all started. One day we were happy. He was being such a dear, I was being a sweetheart, and now we fight about fighting about fighting. We were never like this or as long as we've known each other. Somewhere along the way, she became overprotective, asking me questions, following me wherever I go. If she sees something or someone I like, but she doesn't, she just scolds me, and we ended up arguing. Like, she's your best friend. Why can't you talk some sense into her? She won't listen to you? I, I don't understand. You've known her longer than I do. Can you at least try to talk to her about this, please? I don't want us to fight anymore. 
Thank you for doing this favor. I know, she's mostly upset, but I still want to help. So, maybe getting through you will make her listen to reason? I still love her for that. I'm... I'm not sure. I wish I could talk to her so that we can fix this, but... She just looks at me differently and... I don't feel love anymore. I don't know if I'm the problem or what I caused to make this happen. I... I know that it's not my fault, but I feel like it is. When you try to make things right, but you can't do anything right. What was that phrase again? Oh, damn if I do, damn it if I don't. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and I want that feeling to be gone. I just want my girlfriend back and then go back to the way it was. Do, do, do you really mean that? Thank you for that encouragement. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry for dumping all of this to you. I, I came here today so we can catch up on our list of collaboration. It's time we turn this into a sap session. It's been over a week since we last saw each other. And there are some conversations that are better to talk about in person. I haven't talked to anyone about my situation yet because I don't want it to be such a big deal. So, since you don't talk as much as my friends, I'm telling this first to you because I know I can trust you with my secret. So, I trust you this as well. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for cheering me up. Thank you for the script offers. <laughs> and thank you for everything you have done for me so far and most of all thank you for being such a great friend we've known each other in months but i feel like i've known you since forever yeah i look like i could use a hug my <laughs> how the tables have turned <laughs> come here Can we, can we stay like this for a while? I, I need this right now. I, I promise I'll stay strong just for you. I won't let her or anyone get the best of me. As long as you promise to keep writing, okay? And also don't be afraid of criticism. Something important you need to tell me? What is it? L l love? Uh, wait, wait. This isn't what it looks like. Okay, we, we need to talk about... Hey, let go. Let go of me. Ow. Hang on. Just a second. Said just a second, I'm coming. Uh, um, hey, uh, can I help? N no, not now. I'm busy. It's, it's not an excuse if it's true. Look, my hands are full right now, so if you don't mind, please, um, leave me alone. What do you mean we haven't talked in three months? We've been sending each other email. Isn't that enough for you? I'm not ignoring your... Okay. Maybe I've been ignoring your calls, but... I can't get too distracted. I'm not... I'm not annoyed. 
Look, it's just... Look, I'm a bit busy right now. Can we just do this at another time, please? I need to keep myself occupied. Running my channel. Doing my day job. Trying to catch up on other personal matters. N no, not anime. Well, not just anime, but that's none of your business. few minutes of talking face to face is all you want then after that you leave me alone for today <sighs> come on in i don't i don't got all day um do you want anything uh water juice or tea all right you want to talk let's talk you're here. We're talking. Um, what do you want? I'm not giving you an attitude. I have a strict schedule to follow, and I didn't expect this, so let's cut to the chase. What do you want to ask that you have to come here personally? You came here to tell me that you want to go back to the way it was. First off, I had to be the one that drags you out. While I appreciate you coming with me and using your time for us, it feels like you're being forced into it. You may not want to hear that, but that's what I see when I'm with you. You're not making any effort towards our friendship. Second of all, we can do most of what we're doing online. I mean, we have Discord, texting, Zoom chat. Sure, I may be busy now, but I didn't want to bother you every week by crashing at your place and eating your food. That's unfair. I know you don't mind, but I mind. For me, that's unfair. Why not meet me at my place? Like I said, I don't have time for that right now. I have a new schedule now to follow to make sure that I'm organized. I can't just slack off with my life. I have to take care of myself, pay my bills, all that fun stuff. Hey, I'm not shutting you down. We still send each other emails, remember? I know it's not the same, but you're, you're being difficult right now. Is that why you came here, so that you can tell me what to do? Control me like... Nothing, just ignore that. Like, look, it doesn't matter. If the reason you came here is because you want to hang out more, sure, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So if that's what you came here for, then it's time for you to leave. Oh, there's more? Of course there's more. What is it that you want to tell me that this can't be said online? You, you miss seeing me in person. You miss all of me he, you went out of your way to come here at my place with how busy you are just to tell me that you miss me you miss seeing my real face well that's that's real nice of you to say but really I'm fine it's just a lot of things that's going on in my life right now and I'm I'm sorry I didn't mean to push you away or ghost to you but there's a lot of things that just happened in the past three months and I'm still not over it what happened I'm I'm not sure if I'm ready to talk about it you're right if I don't say it now it's going to eat me alive might as well tell you while you're here hang on let me just gather my thought my my thoughts let me think straight here for a bit. <sighs> Three months ago, I broke up with your best friend. You said that everything is going to be fine, but that wasn't the case. It just got worse and worse. It became a toxic relationship, so I ended things with her. Ever since then, I kept myself busy. 
anyone who tries to talk to me about it, I always say the same excuses. I'm, I'm busy, not now. Um, can't we do this another time? Just to name a few. I thought you would talk to her to help us fix this. Isn't she your best friend? Has she not said anything about us when the two of you talk? Because she, she never told you about me. That doesn't make any sense. You two have known each other your whole lives. Y you went from the same high school together. Why would she keep this as a secret from you? W what? She, she ain't your best friend. But I heard stories about you. She told me stories of you two about... She... She was a school bully, and she picked on you throughout high school. But, but, but she said these things about you. How, how she would help you. How you got each other's backs. How you help each other at school projects and such. So she's lying. Everything she told me about the two of you was a lie. She, she made up those stories about you just so she can be in my good graces. That lying bitch. Is, is that why every time you see her, you would always leave? Because you're afraid that she'll embarrass you in front of everyone. In front of me. Well, why didn't you say something? Why did you not defend yourself? Tell everyone the truth. Even... If her words is more believable than yours, you should have at least stood up for yourself. We're all adults now. That's not like she's going to pick on you in front of everyone like an immature jerk. Well, <laughs> she is an immature jerk still. Hey, if anyone who should be embarrassed, it's her. She did this to you. She did this to the both of us. She pretended to be a nice girl to me at the expense of someone like you. It's, it's not your fault. What exactly happened? I... I walked away from her after our argument a few weeks ago. I guess you could say we're officially done. I got angry. I cried. I was... I was depressed. Then after that, I wanted to be distracted, so I just kept working. Notice that my audio hasn't been an all happy and bliss. It's mostly comfort and reverse comfort audios. Which is me convincing myself that everything is going to be fine. I'm still trying to convince myself that. But I can't just sit here and just cry as my love life crumbles. So I decided to just work. Kept myself occupied, not deal with any of the BS right now. I'm sorry if I didn't talk to you that much. I'm sorry if we haven't been hanging out for months. I don't want all my anger, all my problems, all my mixed emotions of frustrations projected towards you. I know you think I'm stupid, but you're a great girl. With the time I spent with you, you're humble, you're honest, you're a great person to hang out with, to talk to, to listen to. You and I share the same things that we like. Of course, your writing is impressive with your scripts. You have improved since then. I'm sorry if I haven't been using your scripts for a while since I'm not in the right headspace. Honestly, you deserve better friends. Better people in your lives. Better than this. Better than me. I'm an idiot. Okay, I deserve that. I'm so much more... What do you mean? Do you... So you really mean all of that? That I'm a smart, beautiful, hardworking person? Every word? Even after you called me an idiot before you said I'm smart? I'm glad you see me like that because I don't. 
you're right. I will get through this. You're always right. I just need some time to properly grieve so that I can finally move on from her. From this feeling that I have right now. Hey, I know this is a weird request, but... Um, before I head back to work, can I... Um, you know... Can I get a hug? A long hug? Please? Yes, I'm sure. I just don't want to feel alone anymore. <sighs> this is nice. It's been a while since I hugged someone. I pushed everyone away, remember? I promise I will make time with you and everyone else, but right now, I need to get back to work. More, more importantly, I need time to properly process my feelings. I, I hope you understand. I, I, I promise I won't ignore your calls this time. But if I did, I'm either recording or in the bathroom or sleeping. One of those three. <laughs> you missed my laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I... Me, me too. So... I... I'll see you around. Right? I'm... I'm still holding your arms. I, um... There's this one thing I want to ask. It's just... Um, just, have you ever, um, uh, n never mind. Today has been a lot for me. Uh, you should go now. I still need to finish my work. I wish you can stay and catch up with our collaboration, but seriously, I need time to process all of this. Here, um, let me walk you through the door. Um, take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> right, I'll take care of myself as well. Okay, see ya. Wait! I never got the chance to say thank you, did I? Then, let me say it. Thank you. Thank you for this. For, for coming here. For talking to me. For um, listening, for comforting me, for everything. Thank you for today. I'm sorry if I pushed you away when I first saw you today, but then I realized I needed this. I'll see you around, my writer. phone so you know I'm not ignoring your calls <laughs> but seriously I need to get back to work I'll call you later okay bye maybe, maybe this is what I needed after all these months Hey, it's great to see you again. Thanks for inviting me outside today. No, I'm not busy this time. I know I've been using that excuse for months, but now I'm here with you, ready for our day. Uh, I'm alright, I swear. I wouldn't be here if I'm not mentally okay, duh. Besides, we've been busy that we lost time with each other, that I need to get out of the house. I have a lot of catching up to do with my friends, but right now, I want to start with you. To see you and me with no one bothering us. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. So, 
you have a plan for today or we're just winging it and just go wherever? You just want to talk at the park? So, like a picnic? Well, that explains a picnic basket. <laughs> oh, before we go eat, can we um walk just for a bit? That basket is not that heavy, right? Okay, let me let me have it. Okay, let's just stroll around the park. I feel like there are a lot of things that we need to talk about. <laughs> How am I doing these past few months other than busy? I've been occupied. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, what else can I say other than working on my audios for my channel? Well, I've been catching up on anime and movies that you've been recommending. I've been messing around with my new ASMR mic to keep improving my audio quality. How's the audio quality, by the way? <laughs> You're still listening to them, right? Leaving a like and a comment down below, sharing... Staying pretty. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. Reading some of the comments about my work makes my day. But hearing it from a fan like you, it's a different feeling. Sometimes you just keep working and working, but you don't know if your content's good enough. Sometimes we VAs and some artists set ourselves at a high standard that only us that created the audio notice the flaws of her voice that we have to do as many takes as we can until it's good enough. Um, you think it's good enough? It's not getting repetitive, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't be hard on myself. If people are happy, then I should try to be happy as well, right? <laughs> Thank you. So, what about you? How's my favorite writer doing? You haven't been cheating on me with other VAs, are you? <laughs> Jeez, I'm just kidding. Jeez, Hotshot. I didn't give you the time that you deserve, so I wouldn't be upset if you shared some of your script to other VAs. Oh, that's good. At least someone is out there using your material. It's not easy for your script to stand out compared to the thousands that are there on Reddit. But keep working on those scripts, okay? The more you make, the more VAs will be interested in your work. It will take time, but you'll get there. The community is the most wholesome internet community out there. I mean, sure, we're still insecure when it comes to meeting people in real life. And some of us don't want to show our face to the internet either. And... We may want to collaborate with others, but we're still a bit embarrassed on what we do online. But we're a wholesome community where it's nothing but love. Us, it's the internet, so we can get away with it. As long as you have a secure VPN. What are we talking about? <laughs> Anyways, let's find a good spot at the park to set up our picnic. I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> All right. This should be a perfect spot for us. Mm, the weather is nice as well. Sun's not too bright, so this is perfect. Oh, you brought a blanket as well? I hope we're not making a scene here. Well, this park is huge, and some people are having a picnic as well. As long as we bring our trash and keep our area clean, we should be good. Okay, let's see what you brought for us. Wait, are these my favorites? Y you made all of this for us? For me? Uh, uh, when did you have the time to learn how to cook? Right, right. I'm assuming all you do is write scripts all day these past few months. Of course you can cook. And you brought dessert as well? 
I'm surprised it's still intact, but hey, all these are good. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> mm. 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 This is really good. Um, not perfect yet, but mm. these are delicious. How? Um, excuse me. How did you have time to make this good anyway? You've been practicing? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Well, if you would have told me you were making my favorites, I would come over to your house sooner. Also, you weren't cooking food when we were starting our collaboration together for weeks. What the hell? Yeah, I do prefer going outside to get something to eat. <laughs> I, I should have said I would rather eat dinner at your place just so I can see you cook and judge you harshly. <laughs> mm. But seriously, you and I should make some food together. So that way we have another hobby that we can share that doesn't involve ASMR or staring at the computer all day. <sighs> of course. Mm. I want to spend more time with you. You're a really great person to be with. You always look so distant, quiet, and laser f focused on your, sorry, on your work with your thoughts. But getting to know you up close, you're so much more than what people thought you are. You just need to open to other people more. Who knows? Maybe you'll have your own group of friends with you, and not just my ex. I know I shouldn't have brought her up, but I'm over it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Doesn't even talk to me anymore, so I moved on. Wait a second. He's, she's not bothering you after our breakup, is she? You haven't heard of him? Mm. Good. Oh, it's really good. This is good. Mm. Let's just hope. We don't see her ever again. <laughs> mm. Hmm. What did I even saw about her that I like? Are we bringing this up now? Hmm. I did say I'm over it, so might as well. Are you sure you're okay with me telling you this? Like, it won't trigger any bad memory or anything like that mm. okay mm. okay well okay at least I have your consent so I met her during college she's just a regular girl minding her own business then we bumped into each other I guess you could say love at first sight then we started hanging out her trying to impress me how much of a quote-unquote good girl that she is. Well, I just, I was just there, hanging out with her, trying to look, you know, handsome. Then some flirting, teasing from our friends, then we started dating. She kept saying how great it is to be with me, and how amazing I was. Then, when we started sharing high school stories... That's where you came in. She used your name to try and win me over to show how much of a great person she really is. She made up these stories about you. Then when I look convinced, I guess sparks fly and that's where we hit it off. We were exclusive. Then after that, we were a couple. I'm not making you uncomfortable about this topic, am I? All right. I'll make this story quick so you won't have to suffer, but you ask for it, okay? So now you have to listen. So I guess the mistake that I had to put on my part is that I was dating before I got to know her very well. When I pitched in the idea of me being a voice actor, she said sure. So before I uploaded my audios on my channel, I let her listen to it since she was the person I trusted the most. 
at first she loved it but she thought the audio was meant for her alone but when i told her that i'll put this out of the internet for everyone to hear she quickly changed her mind and she told me to stop doing it she wanted my channel deleted and forget that idea ever existed here's the thing i enjoyed making audios because i want everyone to feel like they're not alone that they are loved by someone, even if it's just pretend. If I can make someone feel loved, deserved, happy for just a couple of minutes, then it's all worth the effort I put into the, to my audios. That's the reason I fell in love in making these audios. My ex didn't want any of that, which is why I kept this as a secret from her, from anyone, because. I don't like this information being passed around where it goes back to her. I couldn't risk it. R remember that saying opposites attract? Well, that wasn't the case for us. I like anime, she doesn't. I enjoy going outside, she rather stay indoors. I love Halloween, she loves Christmas. Okay, that last one is a personal opinion, but you see my point. My relationship with her was already on thin ice. Then she starts acting weird all of a sudden. Like she's not the girl that used to be anymore. Uh, when exactly? She started acting weird when I met you. Like when you and I became friends. That's when she becomes overprotective towards me for no reason. Unless... Wait a minute. That's it. That's the reason why she kept acting like she was before we broke up. It's because of you. Yeah. Um, this all leads to you. Before I met you, it was going steady. But now my relationship ended with her because of you. It's because she used your name to tell her lies. And when she can't cover it up, she gets angry and frustrated that she is projecting that energy towards anyone she interacts with, including myself. Why do you look so nervous? This isn't your fault, mostly. You were just being yourself, just being a friend, good friend, a best friend even. You claim that you're the one that's nervous when we hang out together. Don't you know that I get nervous as well when I'm with you? What do I mean? When I'm nervous, I tend to talk a lot. I talk about one topic, then I go off the rails going to another topic. I just keep talking to prevent myself from being awkward. Whenever I visit your place, I always stand in front of your front door just staring at it, taking deep breaths before I knock on your door. Whenever we would hang out together, I feel safe. I was hanging out with a real friend where I could just be myself and not act like someone else just to impress someone. Seriously, when you found out that I was an ASM artist, I was more nervous than I was now. I thought that you would leave me alone because it's such a weird hobby to have. Talking to yourself intimately as a hobby makes you think that I'm a crazy person. You accepted me as a friend. You gave me a chance to be part of your life. You could have just left on the first day we met or when you found out that I was an ASM artist. But you sat down and took your time to talk with me. Maybe listening more than talking, but you stayed. <laughs> it's hard to find good friends that are loyal and honest about yourself. To tell you the truth, I only have... Three real friends that I can count on, and that includes you. Then, when you visited me after three months of not seeing each other in person, you insisted on seeing me when I tried to push you away. Because you knew I needed a friend to talk to, to get all my feelings out. I'm still sorry that I shut you away. Now I'm here making up with the lost time that we could have had. I know, this is not supposed to be a debt, but I'm willing to give you all the time in the world for you to redeem myself. I should have never put
pushed away the best thing that has happened to me in a long time. What do I mean by that? <sighs> Look, to be honest with you, I am nervous right now. My heartbeat is going fast. My mind has a hundred thoughts going on right now. Since you left that day in my place, I've been having these thoughts about you, about me, about us and where it's going. I know you're waiting for me to say it, but I'm not ready. I just, I don't want you to think that this is a rebound. I don't want to manipulate your feelings like that. Even though I'm over with my ex, I still need time to process all this. To see if this is what I want and so much more. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that... Shh, shh, hey, this, this isn't your fault. I just need time to think about this and maybe you should too. I don't want you to force yourself into something that you don't want when what we have now is working. What I'm asking for you is to be patient with me. Right now, I want us to be friends. Don't look so dejected, okay? If we played our cards right, we can be something more. I just want to see where this goes. We have a lot of thinking to do, so please don't act strange and different towards me. Now that you know how I feel. We can wait. Yeah, we can wait. You don't have to confess anything. Right now, let's just enjoy this picnic. I'm eyeing that dessert, and it's really calling my name. It's begging to get eaten. <laughs> you didn't make that dessert? Well, that eases my conscience. At least I won't get poisoned. <laughs> but, mm -mm. seriously, thank you for this. Please don't ever change who you are when we're together. You're perfect as it is. So let's just, let's just think about this for now. <laughs> oh, hey, you made it. <laughs> of course you made it. I did call you to come over here today. <laughs> Flowers for me? Thank you. Come on in. <laughs> mm? New place? Yeah, oh, thank you. Finally cleaned up my place after months. I know it's over the top, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, what's with my outfit and everything? I don't know. I wanted to look, you know, handsome tonight. No reason. Do you think it's too much? Thank you. Hey, you don't look so bad as well. Got a pretty dress. I mean, you look great, seriously. Are you sure you've never been in a date with someone else? Mm -hmm. Really? No date? Not even homecoming or prom? You went out with your group. That still doesn't add up as to how you look like you dressed to impress. <laughs> Anyways, you look great. You look really stunning. I'm glad you're here, so thank you for being here tonight. Come on, let's go to the table for dinner. <laughs> you want to ask something? Sure. What is it? Why tonight? <laughs> Why not? I wanted to see you. I know we have to address the elephant in the room, but let me work my confidence first. I want to make sure that I'm fully committed to this. Think of it as me convincing myself more than convincing you. So if I ever got lost in my thoughts like I'm talking to myself, just listen, okay? 
Okay, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Right now, dinner is served. <laughs> of course I made dinner for us. You went out of your way to make our picnic at the park with my favorite food. The blanket, us enjoying the day overall. Now please let me repay the favor. Oh yeah, that's how it is now between us. Returning favors to each other. <laughs> Come on, take a seat. Let me serve our dinner and we can eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. No, 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 no. I got this. I don't need help. Just sit down. I told you I got this. But thanks for the assist. So, what do you think? You mentioned one time that this was your favorite home-cooked meal, so I went out of my way to make these. They're not that hard to make, but hopefully I get the taste just enough for it to be good. No, I'm not trying to one-up you. Jeez, you did something nice for me, so now I'm doing something nice for you. It's how friendship works. <laughs> No, come on. Take a bite. I want to know what you think of the food. No, I want to know if I did an okay job. You're my guest after all. How dare you make such accusations? You think I would poison you? <laughs> I swear I didn't put anything chemical or dangerous in there. I promise. Funny how when you made my favorites, I just eat your food. No questions or hesitations. See? Was that so hard to do? <laughs> hmm. So, what do you think? Oh, I'm glad you liked it. It's not too much, is it? Or that's just me? Okay. Okay, it was just me. But yeah, I should probably tone down the seasoning just a bit. Other than that, <laughs> I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we should start eating. Honestly, I'm really, really hungry. So, <laughs> so how was your day? Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? You haven't seen me this happy in a while? What do you mean? I always put a smile on my face when I'm with you. Not just happy, but blissful? What do you mean exactly? Decoration, the dinner, the suit, it is all whatever. Look. You're overthinking all of this. When you invited me to go to the park with you, of course I had to get you back. No, I didn't do this because I had to, but because I wanted to. No one ever did something like this to you before? Not even your family? Hey, I'm the lucky one between us. You may think you haven't done a lot, but you've done more than you know. Let me stop you right there. Listen, don't put yourself down like that. You're a great person. Anyone who gets to meet you is lucky enough to have someone who is humble, beautiful, funny, and most important of all, honest. My last relationship was kept with secrets and lies. I'm hoping that this one is not the case. What am I saying? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm in love with you. I know you think I'm moving too fast, but I I had some time to think. This is not impulse. This is not a rebound. This is not me using you to get over my demons. I I want you. I want you in my life. Even if you don't feel the same way, at least let me be your friend still. 
I'm, I'm not making this up, I swear. I would never play with your emotions like this. I would never use you as research for my next roleplay audio. Like, like I said, I had some time to think about this, and this is what I want. What we have going on, I don't want it to stop. I want more between us, if you ask me. Even if you want us to just be friends, let's at least give this a chance. Hell, you made me even dressed up and prepare all this just to get my confession out to you. He yes, I admit it, okay? I did all of this to set up the mood to pour out this confession to you for real. I had to set up the atmosphere for us. I didn't want to go out because I want this moment to be private. Last thing we need is anyone that we know just barges in and ruins the mood. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to give this a chance. So let's try to make things work. If it doesn't work out, let's at least be friends still. It may take some time for me to get over you, but I won't push you away like the last time. If if you're not ready to give me an answer, it's okay. I don't want to force you into this just because I'm in love with you. If you need more time, I understand. All I ask for you is to not ignore me or forget me because of the possibility that things might get awkward between us. Promise me that no matter what happens, okay, we'll still be collaborating for my audios for as long as we can. <laughs> I know. I should give others a chance for their scripts to be used as well. Not saying I'm picking favorites, but you're my favorite writer so far. Nowadays, everyone is writing the same thing. Yandere's, Sundere's, Kudere's, and others that are popular for the voice actors and listeners today. Nothing wrong with that, but yours is just unique. So, what do you say? Are you willing to give us a chance? Wait, this is your first time a guy, someone ask you out, let alone be in a relationship? You've never been in a relationship before? Not even when you're younger? H here, I'll help you out. I'll be vocal if you need help, or if what you're doing is wrong. Remember, you don't have to impress me. You're more than enough. Oh, oh god, I'm I'm sorry if I'm forcing you into this. I didn't want you to be uncomfortable around me. Look, look, let's just forget what I said and let's enjoy the night. Okay? Uh, uh huh? You're. He, you're willing to give us a chance? Are you sure? I don't want to pressure you into doing this with me. Yeah, I promise I'll be patient. Yes, I won't be obsessive. I'll give you your space when needed. Yes, I will let you talk to other guys. I won't get that jealous. This is what I want. Of course, this is what I want. This is... This is what you want, right? Okay. We'll take it slow. If you think we're moving too fast or we're doing something that you don't like, just tell me, okay? I don't mind taking the lead if it means making you comfortable. But again, if you don't like us being a couple or, or you're not ready yet, we can still be friends. Yes, that means I'll be your boyfriend. It's basically us being friends like this before, but now there's, um, hand-holding, cuddling, <laughs> spending more time together in kisses. No, you're not stupid. Don't ever think that you're not relationship-worthy. Everybody in this world deserves to be loved, and that includes you. Besides, 
I know you and I know what I'm getting myself into. Even if the first few months together as a couple is us stumbling down, then I'll be here for it. No, I won't get tired of you. You're too adorable to let go. <laughs> so, is that a yes? You're willing to give this a chance? Like, seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't expect to get an answer now. But if you really want to, then... Yay. I, I thought you'll be like... I'll think about it. Or sure, but not now. Somewhere along those lines. But if you're ready, then I'll be here for you. I'll help you out when I can. What do we do now? <laughs> Come on. You should know what happens now. You're writing stories and scripts. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tease you like that. It must be the nerves talking for you right now, huh? Well, in order for a new relationship status to be official, we seal it with a kiss. Of course, I'm okay with kissing you. It's one of the simplest yet best way to show your affection to your lover. Wait, this isn't about to be your first kiss, right? Okay, you don't have to answer that. It's already written on your face. And that's okay. Because I want to be the first and last person you kiss. Oh yeah, I'm in this for life and forever. No, come here. Let me kiss your nerves away. <laughs> you ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. 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 Okay. Are you sure I'm the first person you ever kissed? Because that was... That was... Wow. <laughs> No, no. Don't ever be sorry about that. My god, that was good. I didn't expect for you to take the lead halfway through. Yeah, I'm fine. You don't hear me complaining, darling. I'm just excited to see what else I can unleash within you. Yeah, I just called you darling. So you better get used to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? A voice actor, a script writer will find love like this. Yes, this is called love. I love you. I can't wait to share this one weird journey with you. <laughs> oh, movie? The movie can wait. Right now, we need to practice on our kisses. So, you know, come here, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're really getting good at this. 